Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome everybody back to my YouTube channel where it's all things about art and animation where I bring to you what's new and what's going on and hopefully it's advice and tips that you can use and find useful while uh, showing off my art. So let's get into it. It's the new year. It's 2018 and with that said I'm sure a lot of you have goals. A lot of you might have expectations. A lot of you might be looking back with disappointment of 2017. But, uh, you know, let's leave the past in the past, and let's look forward to the future, and uh, focus on what's good and new. So, uh, I'm going to make this video try to be quick, and hopefully uh, very useful for you guys, while you uh, look at this really rough animation of them doing just some practice stuff from doing special effects. So, I have three things i like to talk about that hopefully you guys will find useful. Um, the first thing going into the new year, 2018 as far as goals and expect expectations are um, focusing just dialing on one thing and focusing so when it comes to art there's so many different types of art there's so many different facets of art um, there's so many things you can do within just one discipline of art say for instance when it comes to animation there's different types of animation there's 3d there's 2d but then to get even more specific say for instance you want to do traditional animation whether it be hand-drawn or digital, within that realm itself, there is special effects animation, there is action animation, there's background animation, there's animation where it involves quick, fast-paced movement, or as animators that are known for doing scenes that are slow and you know very realistic-like. I, on the other hand, I, I'm partial and I really favor uh, action animation and special effects. Um, as you can see, as you watch some of this video, I'm not that good at special effects animation, but I like to learn and get better at it. But at the same time, my main focus for me is uh, focusing on action animation, preferably uh, fight scenes and stuff that involves acrobats. And so if anybody, if any one of you that know, you know, aware of uh, anime and follow anime, good God... The legend himself, who's always pushing the envelope after almost 30 years in animation, Yutaka Nakamura. Hence, if you don't know his name, please go watch uh, Sword of the Stranger. So, I always look at his animation, and I look at real life, and I try to figure out what can I do better to push the envelope while doing something different, while not just mimicking real life. So that gives an example of how there's different facets within animation. So for me, my main focus is focusing on specifically getting better at action animation while um, improving my portfolio to get hired and pick up more clients or get picked up by another studio for more work. So for some of you, uh, maybe it might be a different type of animation. Maybe it might be learning a better learning a, a program again, better at that program. And I highly recommend that, especially these days, depending on where you live. It could either be TV Paint, or it could be uh, Toon Boom's uh, Harmony, or Storyboard Pro if you're a storyboard artist. Um, those are definitely the industry standards, at least here in the U.S. and parts of the Western world, even in places like Europe and in uh, Canada. And so that's just one thing. So don't focus. Don't try to be a jack of all trades. Just focus on one thing. And then when you have time, make time for other animation types of animation or types of art. That interests you but don't try to stretch yourself thin because when you are putting yourself out or stretch yourself thin and trying to do so many different types of things then you end up losing time and losing experience in one specific area that you want to improve on so don't focus on being a jack of all trades just focus on being a master of one so in 2018 as it says there can only be one okay so and then the second point I like to make and hone in on is just start don't worry about how good somebody else is don't worry about how good your portfolio is or where you or where you are at right now if you know you need to improve just start improving don't worry about it and when you practice practice smart and don't be afraid to take breaks you know take a step back try to draw I recommend definitely drawing every day. Make sure you get pleasure out of it so you won't get burnt out. And just take a step back so you can see what you improved on or what you'd like to improve on and how far you came back. Um, I like to follow motivational speakers. And one thing that I liked about Brian Trace, if you don't know who he is, he's a billionaire. And, um, you know, he said, look back on your past year, your failures and your successes, 
and then measure, you know, write them all down. Measure whether it's finances, whether it's drawing, art, and measure them and then then write your goals out for 2018 and say, okay, I was here last year. I like to be this place in Berdoff and this year in 2018. So just start because there's no perfect opportunity. There's no perfect moment because while you're waiting for that perfect moment, somebody's still an opportunity and it's going to pass you by. So you should always be ready even when there is no opportunity. And then last but not least, uh, the third thing I like to hone in on is what you have is enough. And what I mean by what you have is enough is even though you might feel your skills might be lacking, might be in a certain area, or you might not have much success as you wanted or expected to have in a certain time frame, where you're at and what you have is enough to at least get you started and get you going to where you want to be. And just keep moving forward because, as they say, greatness is doing you know, simple or small things well every time. So, you know. So, you know, when you practice, you open up that, that sketch pad and instead of just scribbling and going through it really quick, take your time and really pay attention to what you're drawing. But at the same time, don't get so caught up or involved in being perfect. Perfection to come, you know. For right now, focus on getting uh, quantity and then the quality to come. And be in the moment. Don't be focusing on other things or trying to do too many one things. When you're doing something, just be in the moment. Focus on that one thing, you know. And uh, this also applies to what you might have, such as software. For the longest time, I didn't have Toon Boom. I still have to pay pay for it by subscription when I pick up jobs. Um, for the longest time, I used Flash, and I wasn't that good at Flash. I wasn't too knowledgeable at Flash, but you know, by just hard work and just keeping at it and paying attention, looking what people use and what they do, I was able to get my foot in the door with a studio. And this and this is big for me because when I went down to a uh, when I went down to an animation convention, I showed up my portfolio. I even had people mention, you know, uh, professionals like, you know, well, your art's pretty good, but, you know, you're still using pencil and paper, and then, you know, you do your coloring and Photoshop and stuff like that. And it's like, well, you know, you're kind of behind the time. Nobody really uses that anymore, at least not here in the um, U.S. But at the same time, they recognize that, hey, what I had, even though it was traditional pencil and paper for, for the time, it's all I had, it was good. So what you have is good enough, you know. If all you can afford is pencil paper, if all you can afford is free program like Krita, which I've seen some people do some amazing animation, uh, it's enough until you can get to where you can get the software you need, such as Toon Boom or other software that might be expensive like TB Paint. So what you have is enough. Just get started and don't let it weigh you down. So those are some things um, I like to talk about, and I hope you guys can take away focusing here in the um, coming 2018. And um, just keep at it. And I'd like to thank you guys for uh, the subscribers and the people that are watching my YouTube channel. And I hope this channel has been really helpful for many people. And I hope you guys really get something out of it. Um, definitely stay tuned for, for the upcoming 2018 more YouTube videos. Like I said, I'll be trying to post every single Sunday, if not any time in between. Or every other Sunday, but definitely try to post every Sunday to be consistent. Um, and now, actually, I'll be traveling and doing more videos as well as I travel. And uh, one video I'd like to feature that I'll be having coming up in the next, maybe this month or, or next month, I should say, since December 31st still here, is visiting Japan without actually going to Japan. Now, I'm not sure if how many of you have actually been to Japan Town in San Francisco or actually been to California to see it. But it's quite a sight to see. I've been to Japan uh, once, and I've had some friends that have actually lived in Japan. And they never themselves been to Japan town, but they've been to Japan. And when they went in there, they were quite blown away. And more specifically geared towards art, in Japan town, for those of you that are takus or just love art and art books and anime, um, Kinokuya, and excuse me if I pronounced the, the name wrong, and I'm sure I am. Um, this bookstore is amazing. They have two levels, so it's almost like a Barnes and Noble on the top, and then on the, the bottom, it's like an Otaku's dream or any artist's dream that loves art books and just needs inspiration and wants to study. They have just books galore of different um, art books. I mean, ranging from Evangelion all the way to Kill a Kill to you name it, just different art books with the uh, Gingaka art. You know the. The TV animation that shows the keyframe animation and stuff like that, and the storyboard books. And if you can't find it there, then they can order it for you. 
And sometimes you even have cheaper prices than what you find on Amazon for art books. So definitely stay tuned for that. I like to feature that and uh, uh, show some people that who haven't been to the U.S. or haven't been able to see parts of Japan or just experience Japanese and Asian culture in general when it comes to art. So be on the lookout for that. And don't be afraid to push the envelope and try uh, different things, you know. Um, as you can see here in some of the animation I'm doing, you might not notice it too much, but some of the artists I really like to follow and have been trying to keep up on is um, Yoshinori Canada, or Canada, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. He passed away uh, a while ago, but so many artists have been influenced by him. If you watch or if you like uh, Hiroyuki Miyashi, um, you know, the creator or the director of um, Kill Our Kill and amazing groundworks for Dynex Studios that did amazing work such as uh, Fully Cooley and be on the lookout for Fully Cooley Season 2 to be coming out soon you can definitely tell he's been uh, influenced by Yoshino Canada then I've also I also like to um, follow up different Korean artists as well like Insung Choi and then of course the newcomers that have just been influenced and just really on the ground like Bahi JD or uh, and there's a new guy from South uh, South Africa actually I think his name is Vikishi, and if you don't, if, if that's not his VKC, you can find him on Tumblr. It's quite amazing. You can tell he's been inspired by Bahi JD, but his style is quite cool. If you like anything like, uh, if you like anything such as Mob Psycho, you'll definitely like his style. And I've really been influenced by his style. I've been keeping up on his type of stuff lately. So definitely stay tuned, and definitely just keep looking and, and try to do things different. Don't uh, you know? Try to completely mimic what you see in animation and stuff like that because there can only be one of those type of artists there can only be one Yoshino or Canada there can only be one you talking about and there can only be one you so you know when you're doing these doing different animations and drawings and storyboards you know definitely glean from other artists because most people that you notice everybody steals from somebody else and that's what the smart people do and that's how they make it big because everybody's influenced by something whether they like it or not you're influenced by someone or something one way or another. So glean from them, but at the same time, make your art your own. So you can bring something new and something different to the table. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you find this channel uh, useful. And hope the 2018 New Year is a, a year of success for you. Whether it be getting a new art job, getting your foot in the door studio, or picking up more clients, or even just, you know, boosting your YouTube views and channels and stuff like that, or acquiring that new software you wanted, or that new hardware tablet that you wanted. Hope that it really brings a lot of success for you, even amongst the hardships. So stay tuned for more videos, and hopefully um, you'll see more stuff, such as me traveling and going to uh, different art conventions in the upcoming 2018. With the positive outlook and down in the block, bottom below the description if you want to see more of my art if you want to leave a comment and have any suggestions uh, feel free to leave a comment below this video in the comment section I'll leave links to my videos and other artwork in the description section and if you find this video helpful or you like it um, please like and share subscribe and you guys enjoy it. So guys, before I end this video, I also want to just say a big thank you to those who supported my YouTube channel and those of you who have been watching last year. Um, I was supposed to have this video posted last Sunday, but I've been having technical difficulties or had technical difficulties with my hardware and software, so I didn't get it posted on Sunday like I said I was on New Year's Eve. But again, again just want to say thank you and Happy New Year to all of you, and I hope you guys are getting closer to reaching your... Your goals, whether it be in art or just life goals in general, um, that's another thing that I'm an avid person about. So, I also try to leave a link to the source files for the animation that I'm doing here. Um, just please only use it just for reference, not as something to post as you did as yourself. And um, stay tuned, I'm going to continue to work on this animation. I'm going to use it just like as an opening theme. You know, for good practice as opening thing to my YouTube channel, maybe on um, my personal artist website. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to leave a link also in the description section, section to my Patreon account if you feel moved to um, support me by donating anything you can give on a monthly basis or even per uh, video. 
it really helps and goes a long way because I'm actually you know having a hard time keeping up and buying software and the things like that and it costs it actually costs you know so anything that you guys can give goes a long way to help me to continue to um, put software or not software but video and content like this out there that you guys find helpful and useful in your art endeavors and it means a lot to me when I get messages and comments saying that you guys find it useful and it really helps and it inspired you that's what that's the main reason why I put these videos up here um, to share my passion and see that other people get something out of it and I can educate them in some way or another with the little, with the skills and experience that I have working as a freelance artist and um, I guess you can say semi-professional artist since I've done some work for clients and uh, studios so thank you guys again for watching happy new year and may your 2018 be awesome and may you reach your goals peace